Thank you to our friends at Scentbird for sponsoring this Farmer's Market plant shopping video. Today is such an exciting day. I've driven two and a half hours to the Raleigh State Farmer's Market here in North Carolina. Now, normally when I would hear Farmer's Market, you know, you wouldn't necessarily think that is the place to go buy plants. So I was very skeptical at first, but a lot of you all, when I asked where was a good place to go shopping in Raleigh on a trip that I had here one day, so many people comment, commented that the Raleigh State Farmer's Market was the spot to go. And you were so right. This place is insane. They have rare plants, uncommon plants, tropical indoor plants, outdoor plants. I always find such great stuff here. I cannot wait to see what kind of treasures I can find. You know, for me, as a lot of you know, and for you new people, welcome. I am a crazy plant lady. So what I like to do to relax and have fun is go plant shopping. I'm also going to Big Bloomers today in Sanford, North Carolina, which will be a separate video number like top one of three I don't even know I love that place so much so definitely keep an eye out for that video now a huge thank you to our sponsor for this video there's no way I could be doing this amazing trip if it wasn't for them in addition to collecting plants I love to collect perfumes as well Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to try a new designer fragrance or more than one every month for just $17 the way it works is that you get a 30-day supply to try out that new fragrance without having to commit to a full-size bottle and the price tag that comes along with that full-size bottle. There are over 600 designer brands to choose from, from designer labels like Prada, Gucci, and Versace, to indie labels like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel. I mean, just to go to my you know makeup store down the road to get a travel size is easily $40, $50, right? So the top notes of the Cassiopeia are passion fruit, lemon, cassis, sandalwood, musk. It's fruity, but fresh. So this one runs upwards of $350 for a bottle, and look at the nice size that I got sent. In Versace Crystal Noir, the top notes are ginger, gardenia, then amber and sandalwood and musk. And this is the perfect evening summer scent. Now this one I am obsessed with. It has notes of gardenia, jasmine, water lily, amber, and sandalwood. I've already had quite a few compliments on this one. So make sure to click the link below or scan the QR code and use my code Ashley Anita. That will get you 55% off your first month of Scentbird. That's only about eight dollars for your first month all right i am so excited to see what treasures i can find thank you for tagging along with me let me know what you would pick out today any cool plants you've been finding and let's do some plant shopping So it looks like they have a lot of outdoor plants in this section, but I was looking at these little water lilies and look, they have variegated water lilies. I've never seen that before. It's so beautiful. So I'm gonna head over um, to the first spot, which is Jernigan's, which is one of my favorite vendors here for houseplants. And let's see, I found some really cool sport variegated stuff here before and they usually have a great assortment of easily accessible plants, uncommon plants at a good rate. So let's see what we can find. Ooh, it looks like they have a lot of plants. <gasps> Off the bat, they have a beautiful variegated alocasia. This one is massive. Let's see how much it is. Guys, it's $89. The last one I saw of this was like $200. And this one is even more massive. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to ask them to hold it for me. It's so beautiful. I can't believe it's like the first plant I saw. Oh my gosh, I see so many amazing plants. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so epic. I can't wait. Okay, let's see what else they have. They have the um, Satinthi, Satin oh my gosh. 
Shame on you, Ash. I really need to learn how to pronounce this plant because I really do love it. Lubersiana 34, I've heard it called a peacock plant. 34 bucks for this plant, that's a good deal. They have some nice sized snake plants, 34. I'm going to name off prices as I see them. Sometimes it's hard to see prices and sometimes they aren't even labeled, but I'll do my best for all of you because it's nice to know the prices of things. You know, look at this Hoya, $25. <gasps> oh, that's a good deal on this huge Hoya, um, Hoya Compacta. $25. Yes. Ooh, ooh. I'm doing my happy dance. Ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness. Look at these. $39 for the Mickey Mouse Taros. Look. Okay. Ashley, focus, focus. I get such bad ADD when I do these videos because I just get so distracted. Okay. $22 for the Syngonium. Maybe a white butterfly. What do you guys think? Um, some nice snake plant varieties. Looks like there's a ZZ Zenzi back here, which is one of the more, you know, it's a somewhat uncommon ZZ plant because it's a dwarf. ZZ stays pretty compact. It's real, such a little cutie. Uh, $16. That's a great deal on that little ZZ Zenzi. What else we got here? Ficus Tenneke, 12. We have a beautiful Alocasia Black Velvet. Gosh, the, the prices are so good. Like, I, I was so shocked when I came here the first time. Like, I could not believe it. Look at these beautiful anthurium. And they're kind of unusual. Like, I don't see this kind very often with, like, the curled um, flowers. It's interesting. $12 each. Then we have some other ZZs. You know, this is the type of place, like, it's worth taking an extra minute, seeing if you see any kind of variegation on there. Maybe not everything's been picked over because it's new plants every day that they bring. So, I don't see anything. I did find a variegated ZZ plant one time, not here. But um, here I did find a variegated aluminum plant for four bucks. Best deal ever. Ooh, really healthy, beautiful, $22. Some stromanthi. This is an unusual looking kind of bird's nest snake plant, $12. They have some oh, Hoya Rosita, 16. That's interesting. I'll get kind of close up so you guys can see what the Hoya, Ros Hoya Rosita looks like. This looks like Syngonium Batik. And they are $12. They're not labeled batik, but they really look like it. Look at this beautiful spider plant. And you know what's unusual is that the stems are kind of orange. I haven't seen that before on a spider plant. Ooh, Alocasia brancifolia. These look really healthy. I saw one of these the other day and almost wanted to get it at a nursery, but these look really good, $22. I like how, um, how the leaves look. I mean, it almost looks like a philodendron, the leaf shape. It doesn't look like your typical alocasia to me. So if you guys know anything about the, this type of alocasia, let me know. The stems are cool. They're kind of multicolored. Uh, Zebrina here, $16. I just picked up one of these. Absolutely beautiful. And I got it for about that price. And mine's a little bit bigger. So I feel like I got a good deal on the Zebrina I got. Wow, there's so many beautiful plants here. I'm excited I get to share it with all of you. Then it looks like there's a um, High Low Beauty, $16. And again, these Mickey Mouse Tarot for 16 is just a steal. Ooh, they have Stingray Alocasias here. Look at them, they're so cute. How much for the Stingrays? They're $16 for the Stingrays, that's a really good deal. They're so cute. These get massive. Like I've seen them at the botanical gardens and they're literally like oof, humongous, humongous plants. If you live in a climate where those could survive outdoors and come back every year, it's worth it because they're so cool looking. Um, okay, we have some bird of paradise hanging out over here. And there's lots of plants hanging up. Like I don't want to miss any of the hanging basket plants because last time they had all sorts of cool plants like Sissus discolors hanging. Um, looks like some philodendron, some ivy there, 22. Really beautiful philodendron here, 26. It looks like the lemon lime Hartley philodendron. 
very limey, very lush. $32 for these big Ansonii. They are stunning. Look at those, so beautiful. It's another one of the variegated alocasias. But it looks like part of it's reverting. How much? Is this one 89 too? Because it is humongous. I don't see a price on that, but I'm guessing it's around the same price as the other one. Um, they have lots of big hanging baskets of Hoyas, $36. That's a great deal on these huge baskets. They have Macrophylla here. This one's 34 for the, looks like a Pupa Calyx. 34, by the way, it smells so amazing here. I don't know, someone's cooking something here at the farmer's market and it smells like fish and chips or something. It smells so good. So it looks like Monstera Pinoti Partita. Some big baskets of it and I've never seen ones that size before. Let's see how much these are. Let's see if you can see a price. So these smaller ones are 42 for the Pinati Partita and I think it is that. I don't think it's a Peru. And there's some down here as well. Um, interesting. Let's see what the smaller ones are going for. Maybe Peru? Maybe these kind. This one looks more like Peru. The other ones look more like Pinati Partita. I don't see a price on there. Again, some of them don't have prices. Oh, this looks like that hybrid. It's thirty-six dollars. It's a beautiful philodendron. It has this like burgundy color to it. It's really, really pretty. It looks healthy and lush. Thirty-six dollars, and this is the biggest one I've seen so far. Ooh, look! Oh, look at this philodendron. Is that the? Is it by Penifolium? Violin said one 34 and it's very very lime green. It looks like there's some Monstera Delos, Deliciosa mixed in. There's some uh, Calathea White Fusions. Wow, that's the prettiest Calathea White Fusion I've ever seen for 32. I've had them a few times and they just get um, mine always get bad spider mites. So that's why I've avoided getting another one but they're so pretty and these are gorgeous as well 34 I wish I knew exactly what kind this is it's just sometimes it's hard to know which variety because sometimes they look similar to each other beautiful whale fin this is like my favorite snake plant $24 and I love that they just have like the one one leaf it's so pretty oh my gosh there's a little pineapple plant hanging out over here lovely um, $16 for the moonshine, $32, this looks like a Hawaiian gold pothos, they have some aloe. Alright, I'm trying to see if there's anything else interesting over here. They do have some beautiful little um, succulent gardens. I just did a succulent care video that I had a lot of fun making. So check that out if you would like to get some tips on caring for succulents. But I'm going to head over into another lane now. So this is like where I'm still looking and look at all these <gasps> plant vendors. There's so many. And that vendor there, I think, has a lot of rare plants too. So I'm definitely gonna check them out. Ooh, I see a cute little piper hanging out over here. 59, look at that pretty piper. And then it looks like a Pupa Calyx Hoya over there. What else? So there are lots of Calathea varieties, $12. And I'm sure you can find some really nice ones mixed in here. Lots of beautiful Calatheas. Um, oh, they have the uh, Amplissimum. How much is the Amplissimum? Don't wanna mess it up. $29 for the Amplissimum. Holy cow, that is amazing. <gasps> I love that plant so much. This one, it's a pothos, but it has long silver leaves and you can occasionally find them new on the market with like trending tropicals at big box shops. But even then they're like 20 bucks. And this one's nice on a pole, really big. Um, that's a good find. Looks like they have some drag, dragon um, tail, some raffidophoras. $29. It's, everything's like, I just, I don't wanna miss anything because they're, I can usually find some good stuff kind of hidden, hidden around. Look at this beautiful Peperomia Hope, $34. 
Ooh, lots of string of succulents. Silver Sword, $16. That's a really great deal. Ooh, they have the Marantas, $12 each. That's such a good deal on the beautiful Marantas. Uh, okay, Pilea Peperomioides, eight bucks. Such a deal, such a deal. Oh my gosh, Shangri-La, $22. I literally never see this pothos around. And the leaves stay small, kind of curled up um, like spinach. Mine, I think when you give it more light, they open up. So mine's kind of opened up and it'll just trail down like this. Isn't that such a cool plant? This is an interesting one. It's not, I wonder what variety it is. Looks sort of like Maharani, but even more so. Um, $16. All right, Philodendron Brazils. And we have some Hoya Crimson Queens. Oh look, this is like the Sententhi or the, but it doesn't have variegation, which I honestly have never seen one like that before. That's really interesting. The biggest Calathea White Fusion I've ever seen, 42. I didn't know they could get that big. That's really interesting. Um, some more beautiful Philodendrons, 34. And Monster Deliciosas, looks like maybe a red cardinal. Imperial red, yeah, that's it. 34. And some peace lilies mixed in here. Raven ZZ. Nice. Uh, Ficus triangularis over there. A nice little sized one. Ooh, Alocasia cupria. 49. I love these. I'm waiting for mine to kind of come out of its dormant state that it went into at winter time. Because um, the Alocasias will do that. Look at these beauties. Wow, they have a lot of nice Calatheas. Look, some jungle bugs. Jungle boogies. I don't know why I shortened it to jungle bugs. Ooh. All right. We have some beautiful variegated philodendrons here, 35. I don't want to misspeak because there's white princess, um, white knight. Oh, they're white knight, 35. Look how pretty these half moon ones are. So beautiful. What else do we have over here? Oops, some more of the amplisimums. And milk confetti. Oh, that's fun. Milk can, okay, yeah. Look, I do see that it has a little bit of pink on there. Oop, Winlandii. I just got a huge one of these. $16 for the Winlandii, guys. I would be dying right now. If I wouldn't have just bought a huge basket of this for like 80 bucks, I would be freaking out over that. Um, that's a great deal. Darn. Well, I did get a big basket of it. Although that is a steal. They have Red Arrow for $29 Syngonium. Like this is a fun, uncommon Syngonium variety that you just don't see around that much. I'm just now seeing it kind of come on the market a little bit. Philodendron Podatum. These are 16. Yeah, Podatum. Oh look, Anthurium. Anthurium Clarinervium. 42. I love it. Oh, I was right. It's Philodendron Violin. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got it right. $16. All right, I might get one of those. That's pretty cool. Oh, what is this? This is a new one that I have not seen. 22. Hmm. What is this, everybody? Definitely a type of Philodendron. I'm dying to know what kind of philodendron that is. Interesting. Bird of Paradise White here. Look at this super shiny um, skin daps. It's $12. This looks like it's more silvery than the typical Exotica. So I'm wondering if it's like a, a different type. Let me know what you think. Jewel Orchid. 12. I think that says 12. 22 maybe. Peperomia Hope. Love this little Peperomia, $22. <gasps> they have some variegated Hoya Compacta, some little guys, 26. And some regular ones, 16. 
some Adansoni eyes. Still so curious what kind that is. Calathea White Fusions, just all over the place, looking beautiful. Monstera Peru, 42. Um, looks like some Syngonium here, 22. Look at this cute one. Isn't that pretty? Really big Jungle Boogie over here, 24. Some staghorn ferns, 22. Monstera Peru, Adansoni eyes. Um, money trees. The money trees are 42. Oh, look at these Sissus discolors. They are massive and beautiful. They're 49. <gasps> wow, I love them. They're such a great plant. And they're pretty easy. I just. I always fall behind on watering them. Some beautiful fiddles, fiddle leaf figs, and the small ones are, uh, I don't see a price. There are still more tropical houseplants, but I wanted to see what kind of fun succulents they might, may have. Look, they have some nice variegated apuntias, a lot of them actually, as you can see here, and some aloe again I'm just like looking through everything because sometimes they have like all sorts of cool stuff just hidden in here Ooh, this is a Hoya of some sort eight dollars very nice very nice elephant bush some jade maybe string of bananas string of hooks Some painted ladies here. They are 30. Absolutely lovely. And Ficus Shiveriana, $16. There's Adansonii here. What else? Like one time I was here and I was just like looking through the random plants and there were beautiful big gloriosums. So gotta look through everything. Look at this alocasia. So pretty. Ooh. All right, lots of great plants to see here. First off the bat, I see a beautiful, what looks like a golden dragon on a moss pole. It is $100 for this huge golden dragon. <gasps> what a deal. Hey, I'm excited. What else do we have here? Some big philodendrons. Um, I'll name off prices as I see them. And over here, it looks like a Blue star fern, ooh. Philodendron Florida Green, 10 bucks. 10 bucks for Philodendron Florida Green. That is such a great deal. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, they have a bunch of those. What else is in here? Some different assorted foliage for $5. Peperomias, Dracaenas, Parlor Palms. Um, this is a really pretty philodendron, maybe imperial green. There's a jungle boogie here, $10 for the little jungle boogies. Such a great, great, great price. Oh, they have variegated marantas, everybody. $18. Oh, looks like it's like it's got some nice variegation on it. Ah, oh, how beautiful. That's definitely a good find. And it looks like they have quite a few of them mixed in. Look, they have some more back there. Ooh, silver stripe, $15 for a silver stripe. Whoa. And they are like quite lush. Look at this hanging down for $15. China doll stomp, 15. Some Calathea, this one's called Stella Calathea. I don't know if that's different than a white fusion, $25. And then Blue Star Devana Fern. And this is assorted Diffenbachias here, $15. They have different ones kind of mixed in. Wow, what is this beauty? 150. 
maybe a Jose Bono or a Paradiso Verde. Looks like some beautiful red philodendrons, some ficus tenaceae. Ooh, look at this pretty plant. What are you? Oh, party time, $15. <gasps> look at that. That's a neat one. I love it. Ooh, look at this Gloriosum. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Whoa, I'm seeing some incredible plants. Like, oh my gosh, how much is this Gloriosum? This huge Gloriosum is $100 hundred bucks oh my gosh <gasps> look at this philodendron Ooh. let me see if I can see a price on it I'm guessing you know the most I'm seeing is like a hundred hundred dollars ish beautiful oh my word this is this one here is 80 they have $5 micans. Look at the $5 micans. Oh my gosh. Green Flame Firm, $8. They have Philodendron Sodori, $40. Ooh. Oh my gosh. What am I going to do? There's so many plants I want to buy here today. And I still have to go to Big Bloomers. Black Velvet, $15. Moonshine, $15. Some Adansonii, Philodendron Brandy, $10. Oh my gosh, $20 Gloriosums, everybody. I'm flipping out. Rex Begonias, $8. They have some nice Rex Begonias. Oh my gosh, they have Choco Reds for $60. Oh, I'm so tempted to buy one. This is one of my favorite plants that I own. Like, obsessed. I'd love to get another one. Whoa, look at this Epipremnum. Tell me that's not the most beautiful Epipremnum you've ever seen. 150. Wow, wee, those leaves. I would just hope I could give it enough light and humidity to keep it that size. Oh, looks like they have um, an elbow cutting here. Ooh, maybe a Monstera Thai Constellation. 300 for the nice size Monstera Thai Constellation. Um, or Shewezii. Over here, it looks like the Aurea or Shewezii. Trying to look at, I'm like trying to see the prices. $75 for this variegated Hoya Carii. They have the cute little monkey tail cactus here, $25. Let's see, they have um, Bietie, $75 for the Bietie, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, is this an Aglaonema Pictum Tricolor? $50. This might be the Homolonema one that looks like the Pictum Tricolor. Oh, they have this cool Syngonium, $65. I can't remember the name of it, but it's so neat because it like kind of curls up on the outside. And here's another um, Epipremnum elbow. And this one is 50 bucks. Ooh, that is tempting. Oh, look, they have a Melanochrysum hanging out over here. Can I just take a quick peek? Oh my gosh, look at these huge Philodendron White Knights. $50. Monstera Stanleyana elbows, $50. Ooh. There's a lot on that side too, I'll walk over there. They have White Wizard too, which is $60. White Knight and White Wizard, 35 for the smaller ones. Isn't that cool? Holy cow. Pink Princess, 20 bucks for the Pink Princess. Oh, they have White Princess, 35, so they have the trifecta. They have White Princess, White Knight, and White Wizard all here that you can get. Um, that's pretty neat. Gracious me, they have cute little cacti. Oh, there's so many plants here. Look at them all. Oh, I love them. Just kind of browse through. This looks like string of watermelon. You can kind of see it see because it looks like little watermelons. They have the Mickey Mouse Tarot, 20 bucks. String of dolphins, 15. String of pearls, 15. Some more of the succulents here. 
Oh, they have Ring of Fire. Hmm. How much is the Ring of Fire? Forty dollars for the Ring of Fire. Gosh, I can I remember when it was like impossible to get our hands on these. Fuzzy pickles, three dollars each. That's cute. So we have some fun syngoniums. They've got some pink. It's Fifteen dollars. Oh my gosh. What is this one? I'm like very interested in this one. It's kind of different, huh? I don't see a price on it. It's really beautiful. And then you have the pink splash. Looks like a mixture of different syngonium varieties. This one's 40. Ooh. Okay, breathe. Mexicanums, 20 bucks for the Mexicanums. Oh my gosh. Whoa. That's so cool. Silver Sword, 15. Um, all sorts of neat ones just kind of mixed in here. $2 for the little terrarium plants. Monstera Deliciosas. <gasps> There's still so many plants, oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I know I'm gonna go back editing this and be like, Ashley, seriously, why do you make such a fuss? Look, look, they have variegated compactas, 50, Hoya Caria is 20, um, $20 for the larger Hoya um, compactas, and they have small variegated compactas, they're 25. Assorted Hoyas, They have like the variegated Wayeti eyes or Kentianas. And look, they have Mayo Eye. $20 for nice size philodendron Mayo Eye. Look at this new leaf here. Wow, that is such a good deal. I can't believe they have the Mayo Eye here. I have a bunch. Um, I had one that was struggling with root rot, and so I propagated it. And now I have like five Mayo Eye uh, plants everywhere. It's such a great plant to propagate, and they're fast growers. $15 for the snake plants. Their whale fin is $15, $15. That is crazy town. Whoa. Painted Lady, $30. Oh, Summer Glory. That's the name of this one that I'm like, couldn't remember. That's the hybrid. $15 for the Summer Glories. Prince of Orange, $8. Oh my word. Moonlight, seven. Oh. They have some little Rick Racks for 12 and the Fire Sticks for five. Red Marantas. Here's $10 Mikeins. These are a little bit bigger. Ooh, some fun Alocasias. $12 Silver Dragons. 30 for the larger Mickey Mouse Taros. Got some Jade. Wow. Ooh, they have variegated um, Crown of Thorns. I've not seen variegated one before. $12, Jewel Orchids, $25. Some little lithops. Oh my gosh, they have the, um, the, the white cactus. Oh my gosh, the ghost cactus. The, it's a euphorbia actually, not a cactus. How much are they? $25. I haven't seen those around in ages. How cool. Ooh, they have the stingrays. A nice big stingray here. Oh, larger Mickey Mouse Taros, Stingrays, some nice uh, Caladiums. Wow. Tiny Dancers. Oh, they have Goldie Eyes. $25 for these little Goldie Eyes. Well, they're not that little actually. Sis's Discolor. $50 for the Sis's Discolor. Oh look, here's a nice sized <laughs> variegated Hoya Compacta. I don't see a price, but I'd love to get like a nice big one like that. Hmm. All right, $45 for this Hoya Carnosa Compacta. A Syngonium Batik, $10. 
uh, Raffida Ford Cursiva, $12. That's the best price on our Raffida Ford Cursiva I've seen. That looks like a Philodendron Brazil, 25 This nice Mikan's Pot is 30 Syngonium Sun Glow, 20 Aglionemas, Assorted Syngoniums, $6 for the Assorted Syngoniums. Oh, they have Philodendron Gigantiums, $35. That's a good deal. Super, super fast growing. Big, big leaves, so just be ready to like be repotting this one regularly. Cebu Blues. 18 Peperomia Raindrops, $8. Pupa Calyx. Wow. It's amazing. I'm just in awe of the beautiful plants that I'm finding at this farmer's market today. It's exceeded all of my expectations. Some nice Skindapsis varieties. Crocodile ferns. Pothos and Joy, eight, all of these are $8, and they have Cebu Blues, $9. That's a good deal on a Cebu Blue. Gosh, guys, can you imagine, like, last year finding a Cebu Blue for 9 bucks? Like, unheard of. Swiss Cheese Plants, Peperomia Hope, $8. Nice. Wow, look at the size of this Pothos. It's amazing. It's $70 for this huge Pothos, guys. That is worth every penny. I cannot wait to share my haul of the plants that I found at the farmer's market. It was absolutely epic. I think it was my best work yet at that farmer's market. I've always had some really, really epic finds, but this one was extra, extra special. So I'm gonna get started. I think I'm gonna get started with, oh, it's hard to choose a favorite, but this one I think was the best find of the day. Da -da -da. All right, here it is. This is. The first plant I saw upon entering the farmer's market and I could not believe it. Some of you might have seen a recent video where I saw this plant and I really wanted to buy it but it was so expensive and I just couldn't stomach it at the time and I'm so glad I waited because look, I found it for $89 and it's massive, absolutely massive. It's so beautiful. It's a variegated alocasia, $89. Macromyzata, maybe, and it's so lush. There's tons of variegation, and I've been dying to get one of these plants. I had a really tiny one one time that I imported, and I kept that thing alive for so long, the one tiny leaf, and eventually it just pooped out on me. So my plan is to keep this outside this summer. I think it'll really like it. I'll have it under a gazebo and some shade, and you know that way it'll be outside, it'll get humidity. I think that's the thing to know about alocasias is they like that humidity, they like that heat, they like that sun. So this is going to be an outside plant this summer and hopefully it'll just thrive and continue to grow but I mean each leaf of this plant is so lush and so beautiful. I'm definitely going to give it a spider mite treatment. I'm gonna rinse off the leaves, spray it down with insecticidal soap, give it the systemic granules, all the things that I do with my plants now to help prevent pest outbreaks. Ooh, I'm trying to like get it in, in shot. It's like such a big, such a big plant. Look at it, it's so beautiful. What do you guys think, was this a good find? I have three other amazing plants that I picked up at the farmer's market, so. I'm obsessed with this. I think it's absolutely lush. I mean, look at this half moon leaf. Look at that. <laughs> it's amazing. They have a couple of those in this one. Look at that. Yeah, and it even has some like fully white leaves. Now these will die off pretty quickly in my experience. So especially coming out of its, you know, greenhouse conditions. But fortunately with summer here, it should do okay outside. So send your care tips. I'm really, really, really excited about this one. Let me go grab my other ones. I picked up this beautiful philodendron and it was labeled golden violin philodendron. Uh, and it's really lovely and it was only $16 and I'd never seen it out and about before. So to me, that was such a good deal. There are a lot of plants in this little baby and I'm obsessed with philodendrons. They're so wonderful, so easy to care for. And uh, yeah, I'll just, I've noticed with my philodendrons, they're enjoying their, their water this year. So I just need to make sure that I don't let this plant stay dried out for too long and give it maybe medium light 
and it should be happy, happy, happy. If you know anything about this plant, let me know. But as the leaves mature, like these are still is pretty juvenile form, but the lobes become bigger and it really gets the shape of a violin. So, and I think the fact that it's this Aurea color, this lime green, yellow, golden color is unusual and it makes it a bit more on the rare side. So I thought $16, that was a great deal. Continuing on, beautiful um, Epipremnum Albo. It has beautiful variegation and I have some cuttings of this plant but the leaves don't look as, as lovely as this. And sometimes it really does come down to choosing the right plant in order to get the variegation that we like. So I can see that the stem itself is highly variegated so that's always something to look for when you're trying to choose a variegated plant especially with monsteras um, given this one's an epipremnum but you know same rule of thought if the stem is highly variegated then your chances of a nice variegated plant are, are higher and this one has some good fenestrations already happening which is really exciting you can see like the little hole there i think the leaves are absolutely beautiful and the bigger these leaves get the more lovely it gets. So this plant is amazing. You know, I'm gonna treat it like a pothos. Um, I'm gonna give it a little extra light to keep the variegation going. I'm really excited about this one. Oh, $50 for this one, which I thought was, you know, a good deal compared to what I've seen them around. So I'm really, really excited about this one. One left, which I'm super excited about. And it is a variegated Hoya Compacta. I have been wanting one of these plants for a really long time. I have like the tiniest baby one that I've had since I first started collecting. It's literally like this big and it has not done anything for me. And I just have always wanted a nice, really long variegated Hoya Compacta. So when I saw this one, and I think it was around $50, I said, okay, I'm gonna do it for this one because it just takes so long for them to grow this big especially the variegated ones and this one has variegation but it's not so variegated that it's parasitic to the plant which I really appreciate and some of the leaves are becoming really pink now the only hesitation in a plant like this is that their the little pests can kind of live in the folded up leaves which is no problem I think I'll give this one a dish soap a dawn dish soap bath and just let especially these like long tendrils soak in the water and then I'll do my usual systemic granules insecticidal soap um, and then you know give it a good wash off and it should be good to go I'm so excited about this plant what do you guys think I can't believe in all my years of collecting I don't have a nice size variegated Hoya compacta but they're just so hard to find and when you do find them they're so expensive here in Charlotte North Carolina it all depends where you live some people can find these for like you know just regular plant shopping day so I just thought that was a great deal so those are the four plants I chose let me know what you guys think like were these good choices what would you have picked up at the market and I also went to big bloomers after I went to the farmers market and you know big bloomers was insane I can't wait to show you guys my haul from big bloomers as well so that'll be my next video so keep an eye out for that on that note if um, you're a crazy plant person too and this crazy plant ladies plant shopping videos bring smiles to your face make sure to subscribe so episodes will show up in your newsfeed and we also have a wonderful community on Instagram Instagram if you'd like to join us there. Lastly, again, huge thank you to Scentbird. They're my all-time fave. You can click the link in my description below, or you can scan the QR code and use my code AshleyAnita, and that will get you 55% off your first month, which is only about $8 for your first month, which I thought was a fabulous deal. Thank you again to them. And if you end up using Scentbird, let me know if you guys have any fra fragrances that you like, because as I mentioned, I also love to collect fragrances as well as beautiful plants. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon, especially with that big bloomers plant shopping that I did. Bye.